How do we get better at serving? Well, we've got to practice our serves, but there is a good way of practicing serves and there are multiple bad ways of practicing serves. In this video, I'm gonna highlight all of these bad things that people do when practicing serves. I want you to go through the video and see how many of these bad things that you do. And once I've told you off, you won't be doing it in the future and you'll be practicing your serves in a good way. So, are you ready for your telling off? Let's have a look at the bad things people do when practicing serves. Number one, people think they can practice serves by just having one ball. Now this is a complete waste of time because you spend most of your time going to pick the ball up, okay? So when we practice serves, we want to have access to multiple balls. You want to have a box of balls which you can keep to the side of the table, or even better still, you can get one of these bags which connect to the side of the table. These are absolutely brilliant for service practice because they clip to the side of the table and therefore you don't even have to bend down. You just collect a new ball and then get ready to serve again. The second bad thing people do when practicing serves is they stand too upright. It's just a bit lazy. Standing upright, they then serve. Their serves are a bit bouncier because they're hitting it from a higher position. It's not good quality practice. When you're practicing your serves, get down into the position you would actually use if you were serving in a match. Okay, we don't want any laziness. We want to replicate what it's like to serve in a game. So no upright serving and get down into your proper service position. The third bad thing that players will do in practicing serves is holding too many balls in hand. Again, it feels like, oh, I can't keep being bothered to get a new ball. Let me just have a few in my hand. Why shouldn't you do this? Well, when you are holding multiple balls in your hand, it affects the way that you toss the ball. You'll never ever play a table tennis match where you are holding multiple balls in your hand. You have one ball, okay? So when you do your service practice, take one ball into your hand and therefore you are replicating exactly the toss that you'll be using when you play in a real match, okay? Only practice with one ball at a time. The fourth naughty thing that players do when practicing serves is rushing. They want to race through their box of balls as quick as they can. Boom, 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 boom. Again, this isn't good service practice. You need to take your time. You need to practice your serves as though you were in a match situation. So you take a ball, you get into position, you just have a little think about the execution, the serve that you're gonna do, then serve, and then go through the process again, okay? It isn't a competition for how quickly you can get through a box of balls, it's all about practice quality. Take your time, do each serve as though you were playing in a match. Let's take a look at the fifth naughty thing. Some players, when they're practicing their serves, they have no real thought about where they are serving to. They're happy just to serve to the middle of the table, thinking that they're doing some good practice. Boy, this is a massive missed opportunity. So much about serving is about getting the placement we want, whether it's doing a short serve, a half long serve, long serve, sending it out wide, Every time you do a serve in your service practice, have a think about the service position you are aiming for. It's absolutely fine to keep repeating the same placement if that is what you want to practice, but just make sure 
there is a particular target that you are aiming for, then you're going to have better quality service practice. Number six on the naughty list, and one of the most common, so many players will do this. They will take a ball, get into a good position, take their time, tick, 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 think about their placement, well done. They'll do their serve, and then stop here. Hmm, what's missing? Well, when you play a game, is that how you finish your serve? You just stay in the same position? No, you recover into a neutral position, ready to play the next shot. So I encourage you when you do your service practice to also make sure you do the recovery. Into position, serve, recover. Because that is what you need to do when you're playing a game and you want to make it into a habit. Serve, recover. You can even take it one step further if you wish to. If you're doing some solo service practice, you can even shadow the next shot. So let's say I'm doing a backspin serve. Backspin serve, recover, loop. Okay, that's a nice way to practice that transition from serving to then doing a third ball attack. And number seven on our naughty list is not really bothering to do any service practice at all, okay? Some players might just do a few serves. Ah, oh, that's it, I'm done, I'm out of here. Some players don't even bother to do any service practice at all, and then they wonder why their serves don't improve. So to do good service practice, you need to spend a little bit of time, okay? How much time? Well, you know, how much time have you got? But look, if you're gonna do service practice, minimum, absolute minimum, spend 10 minutes really practicing your serves well, and it will make a big difference to your service ability. If you have more time, spend longer practicing, that's fine. But think about when you do some service practice, can you do 10 minutes of really good quality service practice and see what impact that has on your game. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and take a look at one of my other video tutorials. See you all again soon. Bye bye.